KGUN 9 on your side first warning weather with meteorologist April Madison. Good morning, just about a quarter till five and we're seeing some showers. We've been watching kind of all week whether we're going to get some overnight and into those late hours and uh, late time, nighttime hours, early morning hours, and that has been the case. Uh, started near the airport about an hour ago and now to the east and northeast. We're at 76 degrees, obviously very saturated out there at a dew point at nearly 70. The big question now is this shower activity that we're seeing this morning going to limit what we see later today. We've obviously got the moisture, the instability, that is all there. That's one of the number one things that we need. We've got the southerly flow, which is pulling in more moisture. The big question now is, will we clear out long enough to get the heat? We're anticipating that happening, especially since this is so early on. And you can see all of this kind of wrapping around. We have plenty of moisture to work with. That's never going to be the question right now. It's just a matter of whether this right here is going to uh, hinder uh, how quickly we heat up. It's going to be a, one of those kind of wait and see, just like yesterday we saw a lot towards the south, not so much towards the north over the afternoon and evening hours. And now here it is on the north side and we're already at nearly a uh, quarter till five in the morning. But here it is right now. We're seeing it as it's making its way towards the higher elevations. This is over the uh, Rincon areas and making its way to the northeast and out of Pima County. Then we go up north and you can see Prescott's about to see uh, quite a bit of not only rain, but then you see where it's kind of embedded with these yellow and oranges. Those are uh, isolated thunderstorms and uh, we are definitely only seen a little bit of that this morning. If we clear out long enough, I do think that we'll see at least some shower, heavy rain, possibly a few more storms. If not today, then into the evening and nighttime uh, hours. But again, this is all going to just basically depend on how quickly the clouds clear and how fast we warm up. We see a little bit of a downturn on Friday when our rain chances, most of it stays to our north and our east, but we are anticipating at least another chance. There's really not a day right now, even when we go down to 20, that we don't stand at least a chance for rain. Rain. And when we go to the forecast rainfall and the amounts, we're still possibly seeing over the next two days anywhere up to a half an inch of rain. Those are the areas that you're seeing in green with to our north and far southeast, even in excess of possibly another inch. So up to a 40% chance for more rain today. Once again, depending on if we get to that 93, little less chance on Friday, which will allow us to warm up. We go back up a bit on Saturday to that 40%, but then right back down a bit Thursday, uh, Sunday, Monday, and then as we get a little bit closer to the middle of the week, those rain chances start to diminish a bit, which might allow us to warm to about 100 by Tuesday and Wednesday. Are the roads doing okay, Big Al?